pearl laid at the bottom of the Yazoo River for a, almost a hundred years. In 1956, she was rediscovered by uh, the gentleman who at that time was a historian here at Vicksburg National Military Park, went on to be a uh, chief historian of the National Park Service, a gentleman by the name of Edward Bars. And then on December 12, 1964, or exactly 102 years to the day that the Carol was sunk, she was raised from her watery grave. And today, more than 600,000 uh, citizens and visitors from around the world come to Vicksburg uh, to view the Carol and to learn about her stories. It's a major attraction, needless to say, for the state of Mississippi and a fitting representative for the Magnolia State to grace the quarter that we will release here today. The Vicksburg National Military Park Quarter is the ninth coin in the America the Beautiful Quarters program and our fourth coin to launch in 2011. America the Beautiful coins connect America through coins to special places like Vicksburg. Our national parks, forests, fish and wildlife refuges, and other national sites. These coins celebrate our nation's wisdom in conserving beautiful and historic national sites for all Americans in every state, the five U.S. territories, and the District of Columbia. The reverse or tail side of the Vicksburg National Military Park quarter features the USS Cairo on the Yazoo River, just like it would have looked during the Civil War. The Cairo was the first warship to be sunk by an electronically detonated device, like a torpedo, ushering in a new era of naval warfare. To think that at one time, the land that we're sitting on right now was considered to be another country, other than the country that we have grown up in. Uh, that this was the Confederacy for a period of several years. Um, I think that uh, also, if there was ever a sign that Vicksburg needed to have assurance that it's been accepted back into the Union, to be placed on the back of the United States corn, coin would pretty much seal the deal, I would think. So. And um, I'll end my remarks with this. I'm also proud to say this is a historic occasion because I recall a few years ago, our government promised us change, and we're getting it today <laughs> in the Vicksburg Quarter. <laughs>